Ni jambo la aibu ya kwamba utafika hapa ukute mijengo ya serikali ikiwa hii ni moja sanamu hii ya Tomboya na ile nyingine ya Deden Kimathi zimeachiliwa hivi zimekuwa cho zimevunjika hapa kando zimetupiliwa mbali na mamilioni ya shilingi ya Kenya ilitumika zaidi ya milioni ya hamsini nafikiri kujenga hizi na zimeachiliwa kabisa hii ni ishara ya nchi ambazo tunaita third world nations Inchi ambazo tunajenga na kuacha kwa sababu hatujali wananchi. Na ni jambo la aibu ya kwamba sisi tumeachilia mambo yakaenda hivi katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Viongozi wetu badala ya kushiriki na ujenzi wa taifa hivi sasa, warekebishe ndio vijana wapate kazi, mambo yende vizuri, utakuta wamesahau kazi yao ni kupiga siasa wakitafuta viti ya 2022. Sasa tunataka viti ya 2022 ama tunataka maendeleo hivi sasa? Tunataka kazi hivi sasa ama tunataka tupigenie vita ya 2022 governments can build government facilities and then neglect them to this much this is the hallmark of third world nations all over the third world nations you will find that people spend so much money to construct but we do not maintain and this kind of neglect you see of statues such as those of Tomboya you see of our government offices you see of our public parks toilets is indicative of a culture of a state of mind of people who are really not concerned with helping the public this makes me feel a lot of pain because when i was in the government spokesman with ambassador francis mudora as uh, head of public service we are the ones who push for the policy of construction of this statue of tomboya and the one of dedan kimathi but look at the way it has been neglected sisi sema ya kwamba tutapata maendeleo ikiwa kenya iko namna hii Haiwezekani bwana. Na nyinyi mnaopiga kura. Nyinyi mtapigia kura watu wanawapatia shilingi bili, wanaonyesha mambo hapa ya kuwafurahisha na baadaye wanawaachilia. Lazima tujipange akili bwana. Maisha ni haya haya. Na mpango huu ni kama vile mtoto. Mtoto ni mgonjwa. Yuko ndani ya nyumba anacho hajasafishwa, hajaoshwa, hajakula chakula na wazazi wake bala kumshughulikia weko kule nje wanajaribu kutafuta nyumba nyingine wanapigana na majirani wanazurura zurura Kenya wakipigana waki na wengine wakitafuta nyumba nyingine kubwa na mtoto anakufa ndani ya nyumba iko namna hii kwa hivyo ni jambo ambalo sisi lazima tupiganie na tuseme hatutaki Sin and the very sad thing is this our leaders instead of taking care of current business because our people are suffering our leaders are busy concentrating on acquisition of political power on looking at 2022 now how do you say you are going to be a better leader in 2022 how do you say you are going to lead this country in 2022 or participate in 2022 when you are in leadership and kenya looks like this kenya is in this state of disrepair we've totally lost focus this is comparatively to You can actually compare this to a child who is in the house who is hot who has uh, who is dirty the diaper has not been changed the child has urine everywhere the child has not eaten the child has not been washed the child is falling down sick and dying and the parents are busy out there agitating and looking for a bigger house as the child dies this is not the kind of Kenya that we need And really we don't expect President Uhuru Kenyatta to come here and personally start cleaning this place. So his people are letting him down. The people he's given work to are letting him down and heads should roll. Things should be done. So I commit myself that I will personally send my own team with my own personal money and we are going to fix this statue. And we are going to do the same for the one of Dead and Kimathi. Because we need to do things well. Our people are not poor because of lack of money our youth are not employed unemployed because of lack of money our people are not suffering because kenya is poor we are suffering because of poor leadership and focus and we have to change that it's pure management i mean this is the cbd tunaleta watali hapa you know even the people we borrow money from are coming here and we tell them kenya is doing well kenya is doing well economically this is not the example of kenya doing well 
If you look here, you see the face of Kenya. Sikuna wakikuyo hapa? Sikuna wajalua hapa? Kuna wakamba hapa? Kuna wameru hapa? Kuna waluya hapa? Kuna wamasai hapa? This is Kenya. This is indicative of Kenya, not indicative of just Nairobi. And if we cannot fix the capital of Kenya, we cannot fix the rest of this country. It is as simple as that.